If you don't observe carefully, it seems you won't be able to believe that this is a product completed by artificial intelligence that would take a film crew all day to create that shot, while AI can handle this in just a matter of seconds. The new technology that OpenAI creates has the ability and potential to replace the huge amount of work that humanity is doing. Should we be worried about how it'll affect our jobs? Welcome to Tesla Car World. Please show your support by subscribing and ringing the bell icon. Now, let's get started with today's content. The significant impact of artificial intelligence is looming large. And at that moment, ChatGPT, based on OpenAI's model, has become immensely popular enabling visionary individuals to envision a form of digital intelligence in the future. Faced with the major impact of AI, most industries will be disrupted and changed, leading us through a big overhaul, shaping clear technology trends. Future products and goods must achieve superlative intelligence and incorporate new AI systems beyond the original systems, thereby establishing a new generation of products and systems. Coincidentally, on February 16, 2024, Sam Altman, CEO of OpenAI, unveiled Sora, the first-generation video generation model based on AI. This once again astounded the world. Sora can follow text instructions to create high-resolution videos lasting up to a maximum of a minute or even longer in the future. From the released video content, the image quality is quite exquisite. For example, in the video imagining the AI Dragon Festival on the bustling streets, there are many unique characters including curious children following the dragon dance procession and many people taking out their phones to take pictures. In another video, some surreal scenes simulate supercars moving on the road, making us mistake it for an introduction to a new car model. Surprisingly, Sora knows what'll happen when the cars move on the road, executing a turn and the movement of the roadside trees depicted realistically. The changes in light and darkness of this imaginary scene leave us extremely surprised. Now, Sora can create complex scenes with multiple characters, including specific movements and accurately describing details about objects and backgrounds. The characters created by Sora can express rich emotions so realistic to the point of near perfection. OpenAI doesn't shy away from Sora's current weaknesses, such as difficulty in accurately simulating the physical principles of complex scenes and the inability to understand casual relationships. Sora may also confuse spatial details in prompts, such as mixing up left and right, and may struggle to accurately describe events occurring over time. OpenAI states that they're teaching it to understand and simulate the moving physical world, with the goal of training models to help people address problems that require interaction with the real world. The capabilities and potential demonstrated by Sora have quickly attracted significant interest from the tech community, business sector, and investment community. OpenAI declares that creating vehicles based on text prompts is just one step in its overall plan. While ChatGPT has achieved a breakthrough in accurately understanding and generating natural language expressions, Sora takes it a step further by creating more complex video content based on understanding natural language. Considering the logic of AI development and technological advancement trends in AI, it's entirely believable that Sora will produce even more sophisticated and realistic works in the future. But wait! Aren't some of you working hard to get a daily wage? So how are these applications when combined with other technologies going to impact your life? Firstly, after the launch of ChatGPT, many industries began to change their operations and were affected, with some jobs starting to get replaced by AI. Similar scenarios are also expected after the introduction of Sora. Assessments from online reaction as industry experts in the film and TV industry are beginning to express concerns that this sector will be seriously affected by AI in the future and even their livelihoods might be overtaken by AI. Indeed, Hollywood screenwriters once launched a massive industry-wide strike to protest against the widespread use of AI tools for script writing in 2023. The emergence of Sora could potentially bring the AI battlefield to Hollywood and even significantly impact the global film and TV industry. Secondly, the emergence of Sora will make it increasingly difficult to distinguish between real and fake information. Previously, much misinformation was disseminated in the form of fabricated text. Later, with the advancement of AI technology, misleading info has spread so much more widely on the internet through the combination of text, voice, images, and video. In the future, further development of AI technology will allow malicious actors to create authentically false information through more sophisticated means to manipulate public opinion. What you hear and see may not necessarily be the truth in the future world. Thirdly, the advancement of this technology and the easy accessibility of application tools may create numerous new ethical and legal issues. 
Various issues in the digital age will become more severe due to the progress of AI technology. Imagine if billions of internet users can easily produce and publish videos or films using similar tools to Sora. What will that world look like? Lastly, will the tech giants dominating AI become all-powerful monsters? The advent of the internet age did not bring about true diversity and freedom of information while still maintaining the existence of information monopolies and an effective information desert in the era of information overload. Those who control the fundamental core technologies and rules of the internet still have the power to control the recipients of information. Similar situations could also occur in the future AI era. For example, high-level AI technology and large-scale model appliances may be controlled by just a few companies, making these AI giants a form of power that's very difficult to restrict by law. If this trajectory continues, the AI giants could indeed become all-powerful monsters. Seemingly recognizing the significant impacts of this artificial intelligence company, Elon Musk has previously made moves that have led us to ponder. So, what reasons has led the billionaire to decide to depart from OpenAI? When Altman began discussing the idea of establishing a new AI laboratory with everyone, Musk was one of the individuals he sought out. Musk became a co-founder of OpenAI, a nonprofit organization launched back in 2015. He invested $100 million and helped persuade the co-founders and the company's future chief scientist, Ilya Sutskever, to leave Google. A recent incident at OpenAI, when CEO Sam Altman was briefly fired by the board and quickly reinstated, sparked a discussion about the company prioritizing profit over its original nonprofit mission. OpenAI's initial goal, when founded by a group including Altman and Elon, was to advance digital intelligence in a way that is most likely to benefit humanity as a whole, as stated in a 2015 announcement. The organization would not pursue financial gain for its own benefit, but instead would serve as a check on profit-seeking efforts, ensuring that AI would be developed as an extension of individual human will, and in the spirit of liberty, broadly distributed it as equally and safely as possible. Musk, who had warned about the risks that AI systems beyond human control could pose to humanity, provided the majority of the initial funding for the nonprofit organization. For example, consider the lives of a small class business, a small government agency, and a medium sized nonprofit organization. The small scale business is often impacted by external pressures. Its creditors need to be repaid, it's fighting for market share, and its product positioning. It must contend with market discipline, or at least some profit motive. That is to maintain focus, competitiveness, and at least theoretical efficiency. Meanwhile, the government agency is constrained by public scrutiny and political oversight. Its officials and bureaucrats are managed by elected officials who are accountable to the public. When a particularly important agency fails to fulfill its mission, voters can demand changes or elect new leadership. Nonprofit organizations may have some checks and balances measures integrated, but only when they are controlled by members rather than a board of directors. For example, if a member association causes trouble or if that association fails to fulfill its mission, its members can vote out the board of directors and elect new directors to replace them. However, the stakeholders do not have such recourse with a nonprofit organization that only has a board of directors. Isolated from market pressures and public scrutiny, nonprofit organizations with only a board of directors are free to roam into unchartered territories. Musk stated that he decided to sponsor OpenAI and personally recruited Sitskever from Google because he was concerned that the AI giant was developing AI without regard for safety. Musk's hope was to slow Google down. But by early 2018, Musk seemed concerned that the company would lag behind Google, so he proposed to take direct control of OpenAI and run it himself, but was rejected by other OpenAI founders, including Sam Altman, now CEO of the company, and Greg Brockman, now chairman of the company. In 2019, the nonprofit AI research startup OpenAI flipped to a page that could change its platform. It was unusual, and although a nonprofit organization could earn millions of dollars, OpenAI announced OpenAI Limited Profit as a completely separate entity. Despite the company's continued research and development of new technologies, they also wanted to make more money in the process. The details of the agreement are as follows. OpenAI investors can now earn 100 times their investment. The remaining earnings will go back to their nonprofit organizations by another organization called OpenAI Nonprofit. Although retaining his position as founder and CEO, Altman stated that he does not hold any shares in the company, considering it as part of the company's philanthropic mission. However, this future philanthropic organization has also sold 49% of its shares to Microsoft, a company without a seat on the board of directors. 
This is why we see Musk once complained that OpenAI is no longer counteracting Google, but has now become a closed source, profit maximizing company, effectively controlled by Microsoft. In September 2020, OpenAI revealed the expected pricing plans for its API so that users can access most of the company's leading AI tools, such as GPT 3, which has been notable since its launch. The company then announced that ChatGPT 3 requires hundreds of expensive GPUs and the money OpenAI earns has helped the company make progress in operating more efficient models. OpenAI has also earned a lot of money from businesses mainly using GPT-3 models that have been fine-tuned as they achieve high performance with low costs. Elon seems to have left OpenAI due to concerns about the direction the organization's heading. He wants to focus more on practical applications of AI that can benefit society, but feels that OpenAI is leaning more towards academic pursuits. Therefore, he decided to step back and focus on other projects where he can better align his vision with the work being done. Elon Musk has repeatedly referred to AI as Pandora's box. Once we open the cookie jar, essentially we can't close it again. This poses a problem if AI is advanced enough and it determines humans to be anything it deems harmful. While many, including Mark Zuckerberg, have their own concerns about AI, Believing it not to be dangerous and should be exploited for the benefit of humanity, I'm sure Elon Musk believes that AI can be used for more benevolent purposes, as he's even developing it for Tesla's self-driving system. OpenAI's unusual AI model includes a for-profit branch owned and controlled entirely by its nonprofit parent organization. This structure allows OpenAI to attract capital and talent to compete with profit-driven tech companies while declaring adherence to its overarching mission which is to ensure that artificial general intelligence benefits all of humanity, but also ensure that it benefits the company rather than adhering to a nonprofit plan. Recent turmoil at OpenAI highlights the shortcomings of this hybrid structure. As a nonprofit organization, OpenAI's sudden ideas from the board of directors clearly tend to make rash decisions. When they asked that a prominent founder for undefined differences, the board members virtually detonated an $80 billion company. With such a large sum of money, the management of a profit-seeking entity may never engage in such self-destructive behavior. Nonprofit organizations may sound noble, but they're not immune to financial incentives, especially when competing for funding. However, a key difference is the profit's motives need to satisfy customers and investors, or they'll go bankrupt, imposing some checks on mismanagement or change. A for-profit board owns and controls a startup for profit, but it is not fully funded. This startup can and has accepted external investments, such as Microsoft's $13 billion investment. But OpenAI's structure is unusually complex, with two nested corporations and increasing divisions between who provides investment funds and who seems to control operations. The tension between the nonprofit board and the profit making company ultimately led to Elon Musk deciding to leave OpenAI. Furthermore, Elon is renowned for his involvement in one technological challenge after another, each with the potential to change the world. Elon Musk, in addition to his roles as CEO of both SpaceX and Tesla, is also the co-founder of Hyperloop, a company developing high-speed transportation systems. The boring company focused on tunnel digging and Neuralink, a brain-computer interface venture. Investors may feel revealed knowing that he's reclaiming the 2% of his time that he previously said he allocated to OpenAI to focus on endeavors like reusable launches and bringing electric self-driving vehicles to the market as promised. Tesla has hired renowned AI researcher Andre Karpathy from OpenAI and appointed him to lead the AI and autopilot vision team. They've openly discussed plans for specialized chips designed to handle AI workloads. Among all of Elon Musk's accomplishments, including Tesla cars, SpaceX rockets, Twitter acquisitions, and Mars colonization plants, his secretive brain chip company Neuralink could be a major breakthrough for humanity in the future. In 2023, the company announced FDA approval to conduct its first human clinical trials. They began recruiting volunteers with paralysis to study whether the implanted device allows them to control external devices. Now, Neuralink has implanted a device into the first human subject in the trial, and Musk has loudly advertised the device named the Mind Communicator on his social media platform X saying, Imagine if Stephen Hawking could communicate faster than a typist or auctioneer. That's the goal. If this technology proves effective in humans, it could improve the quality of life for millions of people. There are approximately 5.4 million people living with paralysis in the U.S. alone. However, assisting those with paralysis is not Musk's ultimate goal. It's just a step along the path to achieving a much greater long-term ambition. 
This ambition, in Musk's own words, is to achieve symbiosis with artificial intelligence. His objective is to develop a technology that helps humans integrate with AI so that we're not left behind as AI becomes increasingly sophisticated. In March 2023, many of them, including Elon, signed an open letter calling for a six-month pause to develop AI systems stronger than OpenAI's GPT-4. The letter warned that AI systems competing with humans and intelligence could pose profound risks to society and humanity, and continue to ask, should we develop non-human minds that may ultimately be more numerous, smarter, outdated, and replace us? Musk envisions a world where AI systems capable of transmitting information at trillions of bits per second will look down on humans, who can only communicate at a speed of 39 bits per second. To AI systems, we seem useless, perhaps unless we become like them. Musk's perspective emphasizes the importance of the ability to think and communicate at the speed of AI. What do you think about the path Elon's chosen? Does it really benefit humanity? We appreciate your contributions and hope this video brought you relaxation. If it did, please support us by hitting the like button and becoming a part of the Tesla Car World family through subscribing to our channel. Don't miss out on our awesome content by enabling the bell icon. Your feedback and time are highly valued. Thanks for watching and we'll be back soon. Stay safe and enjoy life.